This is a clip taken from CNN. Um, and it features Kim Kardashian sitting down with a journalist over there. I think, oh, Poppy Harlow. And the person asked um, Kim Kardashian, would you ever leave the spotlight? And I think her answer was pretty, pretty interesting. And I just wanted to kind of raise some questions around, you know, what does the end look like for the Kardashians? Or what does the end look like specifically for someone like Kim? Um, let's hear the exchange that they had during this event. One of your biggest cheerleaders. A good friend of ours at CNN told me this about you. They're talking, they're talking about Van Jones. Van Jones sent in a message about Kim and this woman's reading it out. Nobody like Kim. She is in a category of her own. She takes every case so seriously. She'll have read the file with more care than the attorneys. She will know the case backwards and forwards in every meeting. Do you think this will be your life's most meaningful work ahead? I hope so. I hope so. I always joke with my mom, who's my manager. I say, Kim K is retiring, and I'm just going to be an attorney. Kim Esquire. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so I was like, so you can go help my siblings. So. Are you? <laughs> so you can still is have a like, job. Is she like, what about my 10%? <laughs> <or, no. laughs> yes. Um, so I'm giving her the heads up. Are you? Would you ever consider a life without the cameras? Yeah, absolutely. I, I do feel like I have a, um, there's a lot that's always on TV and a lot that's always out there, but I think my friends and my family know we really cherish a lot of our private times and mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I would be just as happy being an attorney full time and doing that. Um, the journey just really opened up my eyes to so much. So I think she's full of shit personally. And I think the end is going to be quite, it's going to end both one way, one of two ways, either it ends tragically or it ends really, really slowly and really painfully. But I don't think there's ever going to be a moment in time where Kim Kardashian voluntarily steps away from the limelight. These people are obsessed with the limelight. For better or worse, it's made them multi-billionaires. It's set up their, gener you know, the kids' generation from generations to come up in life. They've had impact over culture, whether it's good or for the bad. And I just don't think having that level of attention on you is somehow easy to kind of push away. A really bad example to look at, but one example that I kind of can pull out is Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption, maybe it was a couple of years ago, maybe a year ago, was going through some pretty heavy trolling where a lot of people were basically taking his PSN account and hacking it and basically holding it hostage and basically forcing him into a position where he had to maybe get a job and threatening the, you know, um, threatening his YouTube channel, saying they were going to strike it down, they were going to take away his, demon his monetization, all this sort of malarkey was happening to uh, Wings of Redemption all at the same time, or maybe like a year ago. And he was put into a corner. He was really backed into a corner to a point where he was actually had to contemplate getting a job. And at one point, he just broke down and said, look, I'm never getting a job. I'm going to stay on stream. I'm going to be begging for money and for tips and stuff, regardless with you guys. Because A, he kept talking about his body not being able to do full-time work, you know, whatever it may be. But the main thing he said was that with streaming, he felt important. In his everyday life, Wings of Redemption felt like a loser. He obviously, you know, he's fucking fat as shit. So clearly his self-confidence isn't the greatest and just the way he carries himself. But the streaming career that he had legitimately made him feel like he had achieved something in his life. And despite all the trolling, despite everything that's happening with him getting attacked and stuff and, you know, the, you know, the swatting and all, everything else that happens to him on a daily basis, all the flipping channels that take the piss out of him, he cannot step away from the streaming chair. He cannot step away from that webcam or that microphone or those screens or those games, Call of Duty. He can't do it. So if someone at Wings of Redemption on his level cannot give up the attention and somewhat micro celebrity status that he has being a video game streamer, can you imagine what it must be for someone like a Kim Kardashian? Your entire kind of you know value of in life or your entire your entire impression of yourself is only based on you know basically looking really hot in front of cameras and being able to dress really well and stuff and whatever maybe all of that kind of stuff is really hard to give up it looks like for the most part so i don't think 
there's ever going to be a point where she decides to give up i think the society will get bored of her and then she'll maybe disappear but i don't think she'll decide it, it would actually be cooler actually it would actually be way cooler if she did decide on her own met on a, you know on her own volition like herself hey i'm i'm gonna step away that's way more swaggy than actually having people kind of chase you down and say hey we've had enough shut the fuck up that's awful i would hate that but i don't think they are capable legitimately of stepping away and just kind of living a normal life i don't think so i don't think it's possible it doesn't really comprehend who they are as people in the slightest personally for me but i could be wrong i really really could be wrong um but yeah big up kim for trying at least um to to kind of make some sort of life outside of flipping standing in front of the camera which i still think is a talent in itself man um we're saying now is the like you said the collections are american royalty the obsession will just transfer to their kids and grandsons yeah oh yeah of course Uche, you're right no for sure like they're gonna be killers you can already see already with a few of them but i just think specifically for someone like a kim i don't see it ending like gracefully for her She's just going to get to a point where people are going to get legitimately bored of her and kind of get turned off and it's going to be enough and kind of step away from it. That's why I personally do think it's going to happen. The kids are going to be what they are. But you know what also could happen? I can see happening actually with their kids. Wouldn't it be amazing if they grow up and as soon as they're old enough, they just decide to live a life of privacy like and just become quote-unquote regular civilians, as Bert Crash would say. That would be pretty cool. If they grow up in the, under that limelight, um, they're in a position now where they can't really say no. Yo, big up Green Ghost Media. I appreciate the $2.20 super chat, my friend. No message, but I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. Um, that would be pretty cool, I think. I think that would be the, the the pinnacle of swag. If those kids grow up and say, you know what? We're rejecting. We're rejecting this flipping... Um, we're rejecting this celebrity status and whatnot. And we're just going to live our somewhat normal lives without the glare of the paparazzi or reality TV or anybody else's, you know, prying eyes into us. I, I would actually love that if that happened, but it's probably unlikely. 